Hi, this is uh, Dr. Mumma Samsudwa. Uh, I'm associate professor uh, in supply chain, uh, Western Indian University. Uh, so basically, my research uh, work is in work in progress. Uh, I'm working on sustainable supply chain practice, um, and it's a, like a case study on a large livestock farm operations. Uh, a farm is producing like uh, almost 10 million day old chicks uh, in a month and they're distributing uh, all over the, the country. Uh, so uh, uh, it's, a, it's a basically the farm established in uh, Bangladesh. So it's a, and the problem they're facing the volatile uh, market situation and demand supply demand situation, environmental uh, the, the situation, the disease loads uh, and uh, the political unrest and so many uh, things are actually involving with. So this is the things actually um, is covering by the researcher. Um, uh, we are trying our best to try to develop a simulation model through the Vensim application so that uh, we can uh, predict uh, uh, the model, uh, predict uh, the future uh, through the model uh, by giving the input a lot of uh, the unpredictable variables uh, through the different behavior. So livestock subsector is playing a vital role in Bangladesh and uh, it's, it's still, it's, it's, it's a remarkably below, it's, it's consuming only three kilogram to seven kilogram, you jump out to birds in developed country, it's consuming 50 kilogram. So nine million people are working and 15% uh, rate is, um, uh, is, uh, the demand is increasing, uh, but uh, sustainability is practicing very low. Uh, the bottleneck is in the uh, supply demand, as I said, and struggling to predict volatile market and operation efficiency is the main thing. So lack of coordination among the logistics and supply chain, sustainability and strategic decisions to meet the essential requirements of the community. So that is the uh, things that we are trying to focus on. So research outcome will be, so apply the sustainable theory uh, the triple bottom line, the economic, uh, social, and environmental matters, predicting volatile uh, uh, supply demand cur um, curve to maintain the efficient flow of productions uh, whenever it needed, uh, the production, the optimum requirement uh, to the supply on time delivery. To predict the accurate forecasting, the researcher will use the simulation model using the related variables. Increased operation efficiency through accurate predictions. Simulation model, uh, model will be covered um, through the, the backward, forward, and reverse supply chain flows to make the implement visionary strategic plan. So that is the the utmost um, uh, things that we are trying to follow. So this is the the previous model, and then we will work for. Then we'll extend this model. Uh, this is a model that I have done my, uh, in my PhD model in, uh, back in 2014, and then I presented the same thing in system dynamics. Uh, conference in 2012 or 2013. So it started from, if you see uh, the parent chicks and then it come out all the way, uh, the mature parent chickens. And then uh, if you uh, look at the bottom side and then it's actually waste management, this is the reverse supply chain issues. And then it created the social issues, then how many employments and all this created. So these models are generating um, and uh, uh, you know adding all the constant and, and the volatile market behaviors based on the previous uh, uh, the data. So we'll try to gather as much as possible data, at least 10, 15 years data, though it is a bit difficult from the farm level. So we are trying to find out the structure. Uh, this company is a relatively structure. So we are trying to get the data. And so data set, so data set will help us to uh, get the behavior of the, uh, the you know supply and demand situation. So the model, uh, if we establish uh, the the extended model, and uh, that might have the understanding the uh, the su supply demand gap, uh, that will uh, give us an, an a scenario, uh, and then uh, then we will analyze is then what is the demand and supply gap accordingly uh, supply and demand gap. Then we will produce the things, and so that. Uh, everybody will be farmers and the policy maker, uh, farmers and stakeholders will be uh, happy to and nobody will lose the money. Yeah, so that is the thing. So a lot of outcome will be come up. So time, uh, the obviously simulation is time bound and the forecasting model will give you that these kind of predictions. And if you see the graphs and then there is a, uh, and the color is mentioning the what uh, particular things is mentioning what, then if you see 
the cheeks, the parent eggs, and the parent cheeks, and the broiler and employments and biogas and fertilizer and fish feeds. And these are the whole things that will give you the, the, the whole set of uh, the predictions. So this is the way this industry will be uh, the much more efficient. So this is the more outcome. So we have to, uh, I have to finish it up within five minutes. So that is the, um, the our research agenda uh, to make this happen uh, more efficient uh, than ever uh, through the, uh, the find out the better solution through simulation model. Thank you very much.